Almost 800,000 Kiwis eligible for the cost of living payment are still waiting, while millions of dollars could be sent to people who don't even fit the criteria. National is calling the payments embarrassing and wants a review. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade. More than a million Kiwis woke up a little bit richer yesterday, though not everyone who needed it. The population that probably need it the most didn't receive it. Debbie Ward's not eligible for the payment herself, but says disabled people are disproportionately on supported living payments, so won't get the government's free $350. I'm not actually too concerned about people getting money who actually got the payment. It's more about who didn't get the payment for me. Ineligible Kiwis living overseas, like Charlotte Castle, did get it. I think I will try and opt out of any future payments. Using the IRD's own numbers, 2.1 million Kiwis are likely to get the cost of living payment. But it thinks about 1%, about 21,000 are actually ineligible and will get it anyway, meaning $7.3 million could be lost to people who shouldn't get it. We obviously prefer if there's none, but the only alternative is, is wasting money on further administrative costs. This is an absolute stuff up. The government was warned it would be, by its own advisers, and it pressed play anyway. And not everyone who should have had the payment actually got it. So far, IRD's tracked down 1.32 million recipients, but it needs the others to do their taxes. People don't become eligible until they've filed their tax return and provided other information to Inland Revenue. National wants the Auditor General to investigate. This is the government in a very sloppy way wasting taxpayers' dollars. Oh, there's, there's nothing for the Auditor General to investigate. For a government going to great lengths to tell the public it's a conscientious spender, $7.3 million going to Kiwis who either don't want or need this payment is a heck of a rounding error. Amelia Wade, News Hub.